Hey YouTube, I had made this video before and it had gotten blocked, I guess because I, I put this up here, I had it running at the same time I was reading this other stuff. And anyway, I can no longer find this page. Um, this is still, oh man, I'm going to get all too deep. Anyway, I can still find this on my, uh, I don't know what you call it my user account but it's blocked so anyway now I can no longer find this page that I was reading from and here it says uh, AWS Amazon.com blogs machine dash learning I, I can't find that anymore maybe I'm not doing it right but anyway so check it out this is uh, kind of what I think is maybe part of the um, the Mandela effect and having to do with artificial intelligence and perhaps the D wave and all all the different things that we've been talking about, right? But there's algorithms involved and everybody knows that digital stuff. The algorithm learns to infer a sequence of future values called horizon. So future values, right? God tells the future based on a given lag by learning over multiple pairs of lag horizon taken across the available timeline. The available one. This is referenced, or I'm sorry, this is referred to as sequence to sequence learning. The recurrence equation can make the network very deep because it replicates the entire hidden network at every step. Listen to that. It's very deep because it replicates the entire hidden network at every step and leads to vanishing memory, i.e. the influence of the deepest layers vanishes due to repeated multiplications of small number derivatives needed to reach these layers during the process of gradient optimization. So listen, I mean, isn't that it? Aren't we seeing now multiple versions of reality? And perhaps now there is something to where we're catching some of these along the way. I mean, because this the recurrence equation can make the network very deep because it replicates the entire hidden network at every step. So that's what we've been talking about, right? Anyway, I found this very interesting. If somebody else can find it, it's a forecasting financial times. Check it out. I think it has to do with the Mandela effect. And I also, <laughs> I've been writing this little thing here and uh, who can predict the future the AI claims to right so haven't we already heard that Amazon can know what you're gonna buy before you buy it and every time we're typing things into our phone and these things are finishing our sentences for us it it already knows right and we're and we're teaching it at the same time so, I mean, this thing wants to be God. <laughs> um, is the AI God? That's, <clears throat> I think that's going to be the huge deception. And I think this somehow ties into the Mandela effect. Um, and I wish I could find this exact thing again, but here it is. Check it out if you can find it. AWS Amazon.com slash blog slash machine dash learning slash I don't know what it is. I can't find it anymore. So anyhow, check it out. What do you think about this giant computer AI replicating things and making them very close to one another? but somehow now we're able to catch multiple versions perhaps at the same time and because we can remember it uh, we're age, we, we are able to catch some of that residue right because this network is getting replicated all the time 
and that may also kind of uh, lend some credence to when you draw attention to it it changes because the AI is sensing that also so it's just the whole B system and it's amazing the way it's working out and uh, so yeah have a great one y'all <laughs> God bless